the ethic of the link. The link, which is the idea that you're interested in this, but did you know about that? Or here's what I'm saying, but you should see what they're saying. Or you're here, but you know, there's a, also this over there, is actually building out the potential of the web to link people, which is what Timothy Berners-Lee put into it in the first place. So when we link, we are expressing the ethic of the web, which is to connect people and knowledge. And the reason you link doesn't have anything to do with sort of copyright and, and property. It has to do with that's how we make the web into a web of connections. And that's how we connect knowledge to people. And so uh, when we talk about this stereotypical conflict between bloggers and the mainstream media, and by the way, Michael, the only people who worry about whether bloggers are going to replace the news media are people who work in the news media. Nobody else talks about that. But when we think about it, think about the news industry's reaction to the rise of the web. When the major news sites built their first web pages, which was around 1996, they decided to repurpose their content from the print platform and put it online, which certainly makes sense, right? You paid all the costs already for all the articles and features that you produced for the Washington Post newspaper. Now you have this new way to distribute them, put them online, you get a new audience, new readers, maybe you can charge new advertisers and make a little money. And in repurposing their content on the web, which was a rational thing, they, um, they made up some rules for themselves. One of their rules was, you don't send people away from your domain. That is, you don't link out from the Washington Post to the rest of the web, because you're the Washington Post, you have everything. You have national news, international news, local news, car news, sports news, we have everything. We're the Washington Post. Why would we send you anywhere else. And so when they decided to give birth to their first websites, their sites were actually anti-web because <laughs> they didn't understand the ethic of the link. Right? And they didn't accept the ethic of the link. And it's taken them a long time to learn the ethic of the link because the Washington Post is willing to share their knowledge with you. But the whole idea of connecting people to knowledge wherever it is, which is the ethic of the web, has taken them a while to understand. And so the bloggers were the people who came along, who developed the web first as a tool for informing people, because they didn't have these rules. And they used it for what it was for. When you're repurposing your content on the web, the web is very flexible, it's very generous. And if that's what you want to do, you know what it says to you? Okay, no problem. If that's what you want to do, we can do that. Here's a newspaper put online. But it was exactly that impulse that prevented them from imagining an online newspaper, which starts not from what you have from a prior platform, but what can the web do? What is its ethic? How does it connect people to knowledge? And if we start there with what Timothy Berners-Lee wanted to do with the problem he was trying to solve, then an ethics of the web, I think, flows from that. As a blogger, what I try to do is do everything well all the time and give you way more than you ask for every single time you come to my blog. More knowledge than you thought, more links than you bargained for, more nuance, more depth, more education than you imagined when you clicked that link.